Hello. Today, as a result of multiple people's uh, requests, <laughs> I'm going to be reviewing this hot dog pizza. It's the Pizza Hut hot dog pizza. I actually think that that's the only hot dog pizza. I never actually heard of it before. I'd heard of it, uh, a friend of mine introduced me to it. When he saw me, uh, I think when he saw me, uh, when he saw me reviewing, <clears throat> what the fuck was it now? It's this disgusting brownie brittle, that's what it was. I was reviewing that disgusting brownie brittle, all of a sudden a friend of mine says, you gotta review that hot dog pizza. I'm like, okay. You know, because this is what I do to myself now. I eat things in front of a camera at the request of others. It's my life. My new life. <laughs> As a crazy loser. Anyways, okay, so I'll, um... Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a bit of a preamble on this pizza now here, because, you know, this is a new moment in my life, right? I had already eaten that brownie brittle. I reviewed some barbecue sauce, I already eaten that too. This, this was a novel experience for me. So, we, um, neither, uh, you know, me and my girlfriend, neither of us had eaten all day. My girlfriend's the one, she's operating the camera. My lovely assistant, and girlfriend, and camera woman. She's, she's got it all. Just like this hot dog pizza. Anyways, so, it was, a, it was a beautiful day. Actually, it wasn't a beautiful day at all. It was terribly cold. It was windy. Neither of us had eaten all fucking day. We both decided to go to the grocery store first for some reason. That turned out to be a real nightmare because we're starving, right? Like, you know, honest to God, I'm sure we looked like, like salivating cartoon characters looking at any food. We ended up getting some stuff, some milk, bologna, a fucking pile of ramen noodles. That's what you get when you're hungry. You get shit. You got chips, too. Anyways, so that took a little bit of time, right? By the time we're done that, from there, we're going to go and get the hot dog pizza. Bearing in mind, we've done a little bit of driving around. We went to the bag, we also went to the liquor store, got a couple of bottles of wine. That's to wash the hot dog pizza down. Because, you know, nothing, nothing pairs with a good hot dog pizza. Like a cheap fucking bottle of wine. Anyways, so, we've been driving around for a while at a point in the cold. We're starving. We get there. Come walking up. The guy's looking at me square in the eye. It's like I have something out of a movie. So he's, what can I do for you? I barely even open my mouth and shoots a menu into my hand. So I took it. The menu didn't have the hot dog pizza on it, but the wall did. So I said, I want that hot dog pizza. And he said, it's yours. He asked me what kind of toppings I wanted on it. Told him pepperoni and mushroom. Consulted with my girlfriend a little bit for this. Then we decided to go with onions afterwards. I don't think we got charged for the onions. It was large, and it was about 22, 23 bucks, somewhere in that ballpark, which is kind of expensive, actually. I feel like it was kind of expensive. You'll see, you'll see the size of the pizza for 20 bucks, you know, and I'll let you make your, I'll let you make your own damn decision. I figure maybe it's because, you know, there's hot dogs all around the fucking crust. It's probably so expensive. Or maybe it's not expensive. What the hell do I know anyways? The price is fucking right. This is a food review. Anyways, so we got it. We took it in the car with us. We're driving home. There's only one way to describe that smell. It was buttery. It was also kind of cardboardy because, you know, you know, you always got that cardboard pizza smell. That's part of it, too, you know. I wonder if that's. But yeah, it's that cardboard pizza smell. But overall, aside from being cardboardy, it was buttery. I don't know what combination of factors. I don't know if this was the hot dogs or not. But it was a very rich smelling pizza. I can smell it right now. It still smells buttery. It didn't even smell like onions. I think it would smell like onions, but it doesn't. All right, I think that's about enough. That's enough talking about the pizza. Now comes the time to unveil the pizza. Here it is. See, what you can see here is the onions in the mushroom, the pepperoni is underneath. Don't worry, I didn't lie to you people. It's there. And the hot dog is around in this oversized crust. As you can see, there's a couple pieces missing. My uh, assistant girlfriend camera woman. She also told me that she would be able to do her job well enough without eating a piece. Didn't want her to pass out. Figured she went without food long enough. They're going to call Amnesty International on me otherwise. So anyways, there we have the pizza. Let's take you and me and you through a journey. What it's like to eat this. I have a piece on the outside here. I decided, I'd, you know, I'm not going to encumber this with any sauces, any, uh, any additional, like, elements, you know, because... It wouldn't make any fucking sense if I did a food review and I covered it in ranch. Right? It smells pretty good. My mouth is actually watering. 
as I'm sitting here. It's tough for me to continue talking about it. Even as it's getting closer, I feel like Pavlov's dog or something like that. Anyways, I'm going to take a bite here. It's delicious. It really is delicious. I forgot how good pizza pizza is. I don't know. I gotta give myself a pat on the back. Underneath the crust kind of looks funny. It's all porous. They're kind of like, you know, weird fucking gonorrhea crust we have here. But it's all porous underneath. Or whatever. The onions actually taste good. You know, that was that was more so Jenna's idea. I really gotta hand it to her. We also got these delicious cans of Sprite. Nothing quite like Sprite in a can. Probably so I can drink it in like one gulp. So. Mmm. Mmm. Mm hmm. You know what, uh, what the hell? These flavors are good. You know, next time you order pizza, order pepperoni, mushroom, and onion. It'll be good for you. Pepperoni's actually damn good, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, a, you know, that thin, like, cured pepperoni around here. The only pepperoni we have is, like, so fucking, like, it's so greasy and thick. Like, you wouldn't even fucking believe it. it. That may as well be hot dog pizza, but, you know, like the, like the kind of home here, let's take a look, I can show you. Deep in the layers there lies the pepperoni. Oh, there's you. Yeah, we're going to take a look at the hot dog. If you know something about the hot dog, you can kind of see on this one end, that's a, that's a butt end of a hot dog. Woo! And when I saw that there's a butt end of a hot dog, I was a little disappointed. I was a little disappointed in that... When I envision this pizza, I imagine this giant ring-shaped hot dog that they had to make it. This, like, special hot dog. Right? They'd be able to do it. I mean, what the fuck is a hot dog? I'm pretty sure they start out as a liquid, for Christ's sakes. So, I don't know. I, I, I think there was a couple of points for not taking the effort to make it a giant, like, ring-shaped hot dog for the novelty. And then, like, the idea of being in the back of the Pizza Hut shop and there being just a stack of, like, hot dog Frisbees. Or maybe they get this shit frozen. I don't know how the fuck they do this. Well, all I know is... These are individual hot dogs. It's not one big long hot dog. So I'm sorry to disappoint you, everyone. Mmm. I can't get it for good this is, you know what? I can see why Pizza Hut has become a successful chain restaurant. Well, it's a good idea. It's about time that we get to eat that goddamn hot dog. You know, I've teased you enough with the actually eating the pizza, which is good. I don't know if, if there's a specific pizza they use with a hot dog pizza. But if it is, then goddamn. If not, I like the regular pizza. Fish is covered in sauce. All right, I'm gonna take a bite of the hot dog. Now let's see. This, this is for the ages. I can see where that buttery smell comes from. From the hot dog. You know, this is fucked up, actually. I don't know what to say about this now. I don't want to say that the hot dog tastes bad. It doesn't, right? <clears throat> it's all beef, I think. You can tell by the flavor. That all beef flavor. But it's weird, though. There's a weird element about this. These two things maybe aren't supposed to go together. The fact of the matter is, it's not like they, they don't mesh well. Like There's no, like, there's no food synergy here. It's a little bit too arbitrary for my taste. You know, it's not like I'm eating a pizza with hot dogs included. To me, it's no different than ordering a separate hot dog and a slice of pizza. I don't know how those, how well those two go together. It's to eat the crust is a separate eating entity, right? It does it it doesn't it doesn't flow well. It doesn't transition well. It's kind of rocky. Hmm, I'm tasty though. Maybe once you get past a rocky transition, it's, it's pretty good. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I'm just fucking starving because I haven't eaten all day, but you know what? That's weird. I like, you know what? Here, you want my final, like, you want my final opinion on this thing? Maybe give it a try for the novelty. I'm not sure. It's not the worst thing I've ever eaten, okay? If you bought it, you won't be so disgustingly disappointed that, like, you know, you're not going to phone and demand your money back, okay? So... If you want to try it for the novelty, be my guest. I wouldn't advise you against that. I, however, in the future, 
Or probably just simply buy the pizza, because I enjoy the pizza so much. I don't really need to bring hot dogs into the mix, okay? You know, two things that aren't fitting, fitting together so well. You know, I don't know, I can't imagine, like, an equivalent, like, if I was playing football with golf clubs or something like that, right? Like, you know, these are two things that don't mesh. And that's my final judgment. You know what, let me give you a numerical value. I did that the first time, I missed it. Hot dog pizza, the pizza gets a nine, the hot dogs get about a six and a half. I don't know the pizza doesn't get a nine. It's fucking pizza. I have pizza. I don't know. You know what? It's good. But just don't, you know, I can go without the hot dogs. Try it for the novelty. Make a decision then. You won't necessarily regret it. I, on the other hand, probably won't order it again. Probably just get the pizza. Regular old pizza. That's it.